Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is what is the major product of this reaction means this reaction. Four options are provided you student. One of them is the right answer. As usual, I first request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't worry after some time we'll get the right answer. Now. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. So just look at the mechanism of this reaction. Here the reagent is potassium tertiary butoxide in tertiary butanol. Boiling point of tertiary butanol is 82 degree centigrade. Now the question is what do I mean by refluxing a chemical reaction because it was written in the question. Refluxing means constant boiling of reaction mixture and when this constant boiling is possible, when your reaction temperature is more than its boiling point. So, you can expect that this reaction is carried out near about 90 to 100 degree centigrade under reflux condenser. Okay. So, its temperature reaction mixture temperature is 90 to 100 degree you can expect based on my understanding. Second thing, what is this tertiary butoxide? This tertiary butoxide is student it is a strong base and it cannot act as nucleophile. Why? Because of this bulkiness of this tertiary butyl group. Okay, so it can only act as base. Now, question what are the acidic sites present in this molecule? Here, actually, two. One HA, you can say, and this is actually HB. So, two sites are possible, two acidic protons are possible because alpha proton of carbon is significantly acidic. Why? because the produced carbon ion is resonance stabilized means enolate. Now, HA is actually student, actually it is more acidic, second HA is less bulky also, but it will not be produced here. Why? Because abstraction of this HA will produce this enolate. Okay, this enolate and this enolate is student, it is by nature it is actually kinetically controlled or KCP. Why? Because these, these double bond you can consider that this will be abstracted means the resonance structure is these negative charges here and these double bond is student less substituted. So, it is less substituted so less stable compared to there is another option possible what is this HB abstraction. And why this is? Because reaction temperature is 90 to 100 degree, pretty high temperature. So, what will produce? This proton will be abstracted, this HB and it will result this carbon ion. And this carbon ion is also resonance stabilized here and it will produce this enolate. Fine. And this is student called KCP or sorry, it is called TCP or thermodynamically controlled product or enolate. Why? Because in this case, this double bond is more substituted and more substituted double bonds are more stable. So, this is more stable, more substituted, more stable. That is why this enolate will be produced selectively under this reaction condition. I repeat student, under this refluxing condition, this enolate will be generated. Now, so enolate's nucleophilicity is observed from the carbon center. Why? Because carbon center is actually softer in nature. So that is why what will happen? These nucleophile will attack this carbon bromine bond. Why? Because in this way ring formation will happen and if you will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 member ring formation possible here. So, intramolecular SN2 type reaction will happen and it will leave and produce this bicyclo 5 member ring ketone derivative. Okay. So, if you look at the key steps and the name reaction associated here, first step is the KCP means enolate generation because of this refluxing condition and second is intramolecular SN2 reaction and remember intramolecular reactions are preferred over intermolecular one because of both thermodynamics and kinetics reason. Now, I guess you are confused that sir, we have expected that less bulky side will be abstracted, um, but somehow we are not convinced. For that purpose, please look at these two examples. 
what first this example we have discussed this tertiary butoxide butanol under heating means refluxing condition this product is produced 86 to 94 percent just see the conversion and selectivity second instead of this tertiary butoxide butanol if you use lda means lithium diisopropyl amide it is far more bulky and stronger base so what it results it results selective proton abstraction from less bulky site why because temperature of the reaction is minus 72 degree centigrade very low temperature so in this case it produces this kcp or kinetically controlled enolate and this is okay and later on it these enolate undergo nucleophilic substitution from this carbon center as nucleophile so it will act as nucleophile and how many rings formation possible obviously one two three four five six seven member ring formation so when room temperature this reaction mixture came so enolate generation is done at low temperature selectively after that the temperature of the reaction mixture increases to 65 degrees centigrade and through intramolecular SN2 type reaction this seven member ring is produced with 77 to 84 percent yield so i guess after watching this example the problem about regioselective enolation enolization i guess you have understood your problem is neutralized so so in conclusion what is the answer so both are five member attached to ketone so c is the right answer now if this question is asked in your exam how can you come up to right answer less than 30 seconds so first of all we need to know that reflux means heating a reaction mixture relatively higher than boiling point of the solvent means tertiary butanol so it's high temperature and high temperature remember thermodynamic enolate or more substituted enolate is favored means carbon will be produced here and it will do sn2 means one it will be produced one two three four five so two five member one carbonyl so in this way very easy second thing this is tertiary butoxide butanol reflux so tcp possible not kcp so these option obviously gone because in order to produce this nucleophilic attack need to be happen from here so carbon ion need to be generated at this center which is student not possible so this option gone second thing tertiary butox butoxide cannot act as nucleophile so this option gone at the beginning third tertiary butoxide it's true that it can act as base and elimination possible but remember student first acid base reactions are the first test reaction then this elimination reaction so that's why this is the first test reaction to abstract proton so consequently anion will be generated and the cyclization will happen so this reaction cannot happen under this reaction condition so in this way if you understand the basic understanding about this reagent this bulky based tertiary butoxide less than 30 seconds you can come up to the right answer okay so in conclusion what you have learned that potassium tertiary butoxide is a very bulky selective and strong base and because of its bulkness it cannot act as nucleophile so it only act as base and under refluxing condition means heating means the boiling point heating at the boiling point of the solvent the tcp or more substituted enolate is generated and these enolate these enolate prefer to act as nucleophile from the carbon center because carbon center is softer in nature and that's why it can participate in cyclic compound preparation when intramolecular sn2 type reaction is possible and the last point remember student five member ring formation is favored due to proper conformational orientation same thing is also happened for three member ring formation also but remember three member ring has relatively more angular strain compared to five member one so this is the end of discussion i believe this video will be useful please write your opinion in the comment box and if you consider my contents are worthy then please help this channel to